Hey everyone, Scott Cunningham, aka Scotty Business. Today, I want to talk about the different ways that YouTube is censoring creators, not just for obvious things like swear words and curse words that are very obvious, but again, really, you shouldn't be punished for it. Um, might just be better to not show it to like younger, like very young audiences, but you know, still, that's it's an iffy one, right? But uh, what I want to talk about is how they've gone a step beyond that. But I mean, not just that. They don't even publish the list of things that they consider to be curse words so that, you know, you as a creator could actually moderate based on what they're enforcing. They'll just uh, punish you and assume that you should just know. The lack of transparency is just disgusting. And most people know that this this isn't really new information. I'm just sort of going to be going through this today because, you know, it is important regardless. And something that is somewhat newer, barely talked about, but still very relevant, is words that aren't curse words or swear words or even insulting by any means. Tim Pool talked about this I think a few weeks ago or something, and I put this in my list and finally getting to it now, but he talked about how even just saying certain trigger words that um, aren't actually offensive, but they're considering to be, you know, trigger words. And I'm going to say them, a few of them, so that you have an idea of what I'm actually talking about. Um... It, it doesn't really matter for me because I'm pretty small. I'm a pretty small creator anyways. So it's not um, much of a concern to get deranked or, you know, like have less suggested uh, videos because of this. Though, if I was monetized, definitely would be demonetized. That's kind of the, the main thing. Like one of the sketchy things that they do is they demonetize videos for the first day and then you dispute it and then they allow monetization afterwards once you've already got the bulk of your viewing. Um, and they do this to a lot of creators that they're trying to suppress. But what Tim talked about was that even if he was reading the news word for word off of the screen saying a word like bomb or terror or terrorist, YouTube would derank his videos and sometimes even demonetize because of these trigger words, which aren't bad words, but they don't want people hearing these or seeing these. So Tim has had to um, succumb to a little bit of censorship and he has to say things like, the bad man with the dangerous device, you know, caused a commotion. And it, it, censoring exactly what the news is, like the news can't even say the correct words to give you an idea of what's actually happening. It's very dangerous because eventually it could be so ambiguous. You're like, okay, so is a bad man like a terrorist or they a criminal or are they just someone who's doing something offensive i don't know because now they'll all get put into the same category and there's no way to differentiate because um censorship is about obfuscating what's actually happening and um and covering it up and and i was trying to find more evidence of this online but it's so like it's so like deeply hidden and not talked about very much so, yeah, I mean, I do think this is relevant to uh, to have this conversation with you guys and to see what you guys think about this. Um, maybe if you guys know of a good place where I can go and see evidence for this and different things. I was trying to find it. Mostly I was just finding a list of like lists of bad words and swear words that they would um, look for. And, and what YouTube does is because YouTube auto transcribes all of your videos which is super useful, but they're not doing it for your benefit. They're doing it for, I mean, originally they might've been doing it for accessibility uh, for people who have hearing problems, etc. but that's not why they do it today. Today, the reason that they transcribe uh, all of your videos is so that they can then analyze what you're saying word for word. And um, 
I see it make mistakes all the time and say words that I didn't use and then it might punish you based on its own mistakes, which is really, really bad. And the fact that it's like they're they're trying to go out of their way to find like the smallest thing to get you on and to and and to punish you for it and again because they don't put out any of the uh words or like lists of the certain things that would uh, otherwise get your ch your your video deranked or demonetized or whatever it might be none of that is available to the public so obviously you know they they've never been transparent but you'd think they would at least give us the basic tools to um to avoid running into these problems because you would think if they wanted this not to happen that they would let us as creators ensure that it did not happen give us the information so we know what not to say but they don't give the information because well i'll tell you why in my opinion they don't put any of this stuff out because they know how ridiculous it is if people actually saw that YouTube had confirmed that they would derank you for reporting the news by saying the actual words used on articles and in uh, news reports, they would be massively ridiculed because that's ridiculous. And it's extremely, extremely dangerous political rhetoric because that's about as like bad as it gets when you're censoring what the news is saying. There's a big difference from censoring you know creators because you have a progressive agenda and not letting journalists say specific words that are relevant to the reports and um i mean i, I fully expect them to transcribe what i'm saying right now and you know make this video hard to find but you know you'll find it everywhere else anyways um Maybe I'm a little late to the party on this one because I've had this in my roster to talk about for some time, but you know, it's still really relevant and it, and it is actually baffling how like the lack of information I could find on this, you know, like, cause other people will talk about it and then have those videos removed or whatever it might be. Um, even searching through, you know, search engines that are that are not google it's still challenging to find uh, a lot of evidence for this but you can see that it's happening and everyone's scrambling to uh to figure it out and to to just play catch up all the time and that's another huge problem they're forcing the creators to always try to play catch up and it's uh it doesn't work very well it uh, it, it just causes problems for all the creators and it's really hard to tell what their motivations are. I mean, I don't think, I think they're, I definitely think they're malicious, but it's hard for me to know exactly what they're trying to do, but they're doing it very slowly and subtly and not giving us any awareness of it so that it's, it's hard to prove because there's so little information and so little transparency. It's hard for me to even pull something up and be like, definitively, this is exactly what's happening and why, um, so that does kind of make sense as to why they are being so untransparent about it. As I said before, it would be embarrassing if they were transparent about it. Uh, it's probably more of a PR thing than anything to not put that out. Even though you got all the criticism, it would be way worse if they actually put that information out and people realize what, like how they were censoring people. So that's my opinion. Uh, you know, I, I, I think it's it's really important to talk about and I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you have any instances of this that's happened to you that you would like to share? Have you seen this happening to other people? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure everyone wants to uh, hear about different experiences and, and see all the actual evidence coming from different people of what's actually happening out there. Let me know of any really really ridiculous words that you're seeing getting censored or videos are being deranked or, or demonetized because of very specific words that are not curse words or swear words but are still getting videos demonetized or deranked let me know uh, if you see anything like that 
and make sure to leave it in the comments below. I'm Scott Cunningham, make a Scottsy business, signing off. Cheers.